morning. It's our second day on this trip. <laughs> Marcus and I just got up. I don't know what time it is. It's early. But it's not too early. We're going to put some bells on these rods and see if we can catch us some breakfast. How'd you sleep? I slept really well, actually. It was pretty good. Uh, no big craters or anything. I was super excited to catch a fish today. Um, we tried some of the, the meat on the paddlefish last night. It was really good, so I'm excited to come in and hopefully fill my freezer with a big old fish. So, 100 pounder, that's what I'm looking for. 100 pounder. As you can see, the bell technique paid off. Sometimes it does, but sometimes it doesn't. You gonna eat that thing, huh? Yeah. All right. Mm. Have a little fish and chips today. Okay. And by chips, I mean potato chips. Mm -hmm. Little bud. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. It's a cat. Yeah. Not like a big one, but it'll eat. Guys, I got something. I thought so. Oh, you'll know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Is it a paddlefish? Tip up, tip up, tip up. Real, 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 real. Is it still on there? No, I don't think so. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Dang it. Well, I'm fishing here now. It started running, huh? Yeah, that way. I heard the drag that's screaming. No. Yeah, I hit it at first and then like... It feels like a log. Well, it feels like a log and then I started reeling it in and it felt like there was nothing on there anymore. And so well, I was I like... I think he swam towards you yeah. for a second and then he like... And, and then, then he, he just... Then he's like... Oh. So Marcus is going to explain to us what this is. This is a pallid sturgeon. A little planter. They plant a ton of these in the river because they're endangered. Super cool. Um, but yeah, there's a ton of these little guys, little planters. Alex Sturgeon. Cool, man. Thanks for doing that. And prosper, little guy. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. It's One cast? Second cast. Uh, oh, don't get that. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. On the nose. It's a big one, too. Like, it could be bigger than that other one. Yeah. That's going to suck if it's bigger than that other one. And I can't weigh it. Dale. <laughs> Dale is our resident paddlefish expert. He's been paddle fishing for two days now. <laughs> Dude, it's a big one. It's a really big one. Where did he go? Here it is. Oh wow. It's a good one. Oh jeez. It's a good one. Thank you. 
Okay. I gotta turn it. Big female. This is all big fish in here. I know, that wow. first week of May is always best. Yes, it is. <laughs> Tell me when you got it. I don't. Got it? Damn! Okay. Don't let loose yet. Okay. Got it. Wait, watch that hook. It's right, right below. Right. Right. It's slack. Alright. It's got to remain partly or partially submerged. You got it. You got uh, Right there. By your hand. Really hand. I'll hold on to it while you... I know I'm going to slip it. There you go. Hook up here. They're so cool. So cool. I don't know. She's still big. Oh, yeah. But she's probably, what, mid-70s? Cool. Shall we let her go? You ready? Let her go. Yeah. It's going. It's hard to tell. I hope it freaking smacks you guys in the face. Here we go. There she goes. Bye. That's awesome. <laughs> that was actually really cool. Yeah, that was cool. So, just want to clarify a few things. So, this year with the whole COVID thing and everything, they're not giving out snag and release tags. So, with your keep tag that we drew, you could also snag and release a few fish. You know, we're still fishing because it's fun. And as you see, like, you know, you hook these fish and they really don't even get hurt from snagging them. So, we were able to release that fish pretty easily and Everything's good to go. Yep. We got it. Ew! Another species, another delicious species. On the board. Sauger. So this is the native version of the walleye. What's up? Heard you guys already got some fish? Yeah. Nice. I missed your remark by two pounds. Really? At 87. And then Dale got one that was 92. Nice. And then the he caught one this morning that was probably 70 something. Cool. Yeah, 100 or bust. <laughs> so, you really have to know what you're doing to catch paddle fish. Like, you just, you have to know where they're at in the river and how much to let your, your sinker sink and how hard to jerk it. No, you're snagging a fish. <laughs> you're literally just yunk, yunk. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's like, you know, <laughs> ways to increase efficiency of catching one. I have no idea what the answer is though. I think it's about time in the water and luck. Yeah, that's a big part of it. That and you really gotta, you really gotta set that hook. Set that hook <laughs> every cast. You gotta like, you gotta believe that you're gonna hook one with every snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an expert, obviously, because I caught mine in five casts. That makes me, by default, the paddlefish expert. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's gone. Oh! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> you sling sling slingshotted it up into the tree. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was a big in. There's a huge bait on there. It'd be funny if there was a fish in there. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Hey, I'm really man. just glad I got that on video. I've just really been sucking. <laughs> gosh darn it. I think John's got three casts and then he's in. Right, Dale's uh, taking that bell off. The fish is just flopping around, flopping around. What is Dale gonna do? He's trying to bring it up. Oh my God! Marcus comes up with the net. In, oh, into sorry, the guys. into the into the net goes. Marcus uh, pulls it in. He looks at it. He seems pretty content. 
What is it? He gets up. He looks at it again. He grabs it. It's a sauger. It's a sauger. It's a sauger. It's a sauger. Oh, yeah, Jonathan's down there. Get off your odds going. All right, it's been, it's been three minutes. Three minutes for his last one. Marcus gets down again on the net. He's yeah, going, he's going in. That's some nice netting. I haven't seen like that in a long time, Bob. And he goes in for the fish. He grabs that fish. He pulls it back up. He gives a good look at it. Oh, yeah, everyone's looking at cusp. it. Everyone's got a big smile on their face. I, I say... It's a catfish. What, what do you think, David? It's a catfish. Eat? No eat. Eat everything. <laughs> if you hook him, you cook him. If you right? hook him, you cook him. We got those t-shirts, folks. You can buy <laughs> Shop that Rini Newberg.com. Say it. <laughs>
Ain't nothing. No, you won't get caught. He took, I guarantee you took my bait. Yep. You see? They like that small chubby. They like them short and chubby. Those short chubby minnows. Oh. Perfect. Yeah. It's okay. It's a little flavored in it. Hey, those are tubes. Yeah. My body doesn't have much energy. What? My body doesn't have as much energy. Are you worried the story is not going to catch it? Paddlefish even real, bro? <laughs> So we got coos deer chunk of the round, mule deer backstrap, elk backstrap. All right. We have coos deer, mule deer, elk, asparagus. Let's start slicing some stuff. Up. Slicing and dicing. Dig in. Wow, yeah, what a day. That was fantastic. We, uh, John caught a paddlefish pretty quick when he got here. He cat he he got his cast in. He's not quite at David's level. I've never seen David is dedicated. <laughs> he uh man that guy he wants it. He's gonna catch one tomorrow. I can feel it. He's gonna catch a paddlefish. But it was a good day. Dale caught a fish. John caught a fish. Um yeah good day so had just had a delicious dinner we ate paddlefish we ate meal deer and elk and coos deer yeah doesn't get much better enjoy this beautiful night lapse is it oh oh yeah yeah my hands like last night my hands were like hurting <laughs> Awful. We're gonna wait on that. Well, you're gonna do it. How are you doing? Buddy's like, you're not gonna do this all day, are you? I'm like, shut up, buddy. Oh, someone's dingly dangling. Little cat. Little cat. Keep your cat. I don't know, I'm gonna keep your cat. You probably snagged because you. Mine has been current too. Oh! Big in! Big in! Oh! Good to know. Oh! Pike! A pickled pike! Oh! <laughs> Dude! Oh, Marcus! Oh! Pike. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. that's sweet. Hey, you can't say Pike. It's all right. Yeah. We'll beep it. <laughs> oh yeah. Cow pit. They'll hook them probably. Yeah, I bet. Oh man. Okay. Okay. real.
That is absolutely giant. Can you get there? That thing's over 100 pounds. I bet you. Anyone got that noose? I don't know. Get that noose. You gotta shorten it up. Come. I don't know. No! It, it broke? I'm glad you have a better attitude about that than most people. At least we don't have to clean him, huh? <laughs> or her. <laughs> oh my gosh, that thing was huge. Did you see him? I didn't. God, I couldn't believe it. The line just went. That was insane. That was a very, very large fish. <laughs> like, just different proportions than even Dale's. Like, it was so, like the tail was like, well, I, I there's no the way you were tailing it. it. You couldn't get your hands around it. Uh, we are packing up. It's a pretty awesome trip out here. Fishing for giant dinosaur fish in Montana. Like, who'd have thunk? It's super fun. We caught a couple really nice fish. Everyone who had a tag at least hooked into a paddlefish. So I view that as very positive. Unfortunately, not everyone tagged a paddlefish, but the way it goes. It's a pretty low, low chance proposition. Uh, just dragging a treble hook through the water, hoping you hook into something. It's just luck of the draw sometimes. So we're packing up. We're gonna head home. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoy some of these fishing uh, content things that we're doing. Uh, yeah, it's not hunting, but it's not hunting season. It's summer, and uh, we're out doing this stuff anyway. So we figured we'd film it, and hopefully, it's enjoyable for you guys. So. Thanks for watching.